Good day. My name is Chelsea Loris Manalata of Grade Four Mulawe from Santa Catarina Elementary School, Caloocan City. Under my science teacher, Mr. Harley B. Corsiga. My home base collaboration video project is a CNC kula entitled Material That Absorbs Water. Today's lesson you will be able to classify materials based on the ability to absorb water. Are you guys ready? Let's learn and fun! Materials are materials having small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. Here are some examples. Non-porous materials are materials that do not allow air or liquid to pass through. Here are examples of non-porous. What happens to the materials when they are formed and what happens to the materials? When they are non-porous, let's please find out this activity. The materials that we need are container with water, Cotton balls, sponge, plastic bottle, and paper clip. Find out if the materials are porous or non-porous. And also observe the characteristic of materials before we place it. So, we are going to put this material into the container and observe what will happen. Did all the materials, all the materials absorb water? Let's find out. The cotton balls absorb the water. The plastic bottle did not absorb water. The sponge absorb the water. The paper clip did not absorb water. 
so the sponge and the cotton balls are porous materials. They can absorb water. The plastic bottle and paper clip are non-porous materials. They cannot absorb water. You can now classify materials that absorb water from those that do not absorb water. That's all for today. Again, this is Chelsea Luris Manalata. Never that quad non-habit.